and I think that will fix the issue. I am out of town. I actually am sitting in the hotel lobby because the hotel room was really dark and I wanted you all to be able to see as I'm speaking. So anyway, I wanted to share that I recently made a butterick pattern and I had a little bitty hiccup as I was making the garment, but I want you to see how it turned out. So here are all the details. I have been working on Butterick 6492. I cut out all of the pattern pieces and I plan to make view B. This pattern is rated as easy and view B and A look pretty much the same. I've decided that I want to make this into a dress and I'm using this knit fabric that I purchased from LA Finch Fabric. I can't really tell if it's black and white or blue and white. I kind of think it's black and white. I have lengthened piece number six, which is the back piece, and then piece four, which is the lower, what is this, lower side front, and piece number two, which is the lower front. And I lengthen everything by 15 inches so that instead of it being a top, it will turn out to be a dress. So now I'm about to go ahead and start sewing these pieces together. I have attached the upper front to the lower front. Steps four through nine are sewing the pockets, but because I'm turning this into a dress, I'm not going to put any pockets on, so I will get to skip the steps four through nine and then I'm going to go ahead and start on step 10 which involves some stay stitching around piece number five. Next I will be stitching the lower side front to the side back so that's piece number four to piece number five. But after piece four and five get stitched together twice because you have a side piece here and then you have the same two side pieces over here and then these two side pieces get sewn to piece one and two that we started out with. So I'm gonna sew these up on the sides. This is what I have now. I have one big piece because the sides are attached. And then now I'm going to take the back piece and right sides together, I'm gonna place it down. And then I will be stitching the sides. So I will match this up. There are some notches. And then this will get sewn together here all the way down and then you do the same thing on this side. So you'll take this side, fold it in to match the upper edge of this side over here and then sew that all together and then the back will be attached to the front. Although I am working with a striped fabric, I am not trying to match up the stripes. So that's just something I'm not concerned about in this project. And I really like the fabric. I think it has a nice drape. I like the way it feels. It's pretty soft too. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish pinning this and sew the sides together. The next step will be to sew the shoulder seams together on each side. And then you have facings that go around the neck and then you put on the sleeves and finish off the hem and then everything should be done. Okay, so here is the dress, but there is an issue. So, this side piece, which is number five, is shorter than the rest of the dress. So this is the back, and then the side is short, and then you have the front, which is kind of wonky too, because it's really long in the front. But I'm not concerned about that because I can just fix that you know I can cut that off and make it into a curve and fix that so I'm okay with that but as far as the side I have some fabric left over and I think I'm going to cut out two pieces and try to fill in this little area here okay I figured out what I'm gonna do this is the extra fabric that I had left over this is one of the sides so I want to show you what I did. I took some scraps that I had left over and I pinned it from one end all the way over to the other end. And it looks like it's going to work out just fine. So if I cut out two of these, I can put one on one side and then, you know, do the same thing on this side to fill in that hole. 
and I think that will fix the issue. So now what I'm going to do is just take this off and use this as like my piece that I'm going to cut around. So I'm not going to put the navy blue on here. I'm just going to lay this down and cut around it. So this will act like my pattern piece. And I could shorten this. I don't have to have it as wide as this. So yeah, I'm just going to unpin this and cut out this piece in that fabric. Okay, so I took the piece off and kind of evened it out and I'm placing it on the fold line and I have it in half and then I'm going to cut out two of these. So I'm so glad I had enough fabric left over. I was thinking about making something else with this fabric, but now I won't be able to, but that's okay. I'm just happy that I had enough fabric left over to make the dress work. So that's one piece and then I'm going to cut this out again and then I'll have two pieces, one for each side of the dress. I have the side pieces sewn on and this is the front and I just drew a line connecting the two sides and then I cut it away so now the front is a little more even. California. I've been here for maybe a day or two and I have just been doing stuff around the house you know like going through all the mail that we got since we were gone and what else oh now I'm on my way to the grocery store because we definitely need some food and I have not tried on the dress but that's gonna be the next thing that I do I'm just so happy that I was able to get the dress done before I left and I'm even more happy that the dress ended up not being a fail because if I did not have enough fabric, I don't know how this would have turned out. But everything turned out okay and you'll see what it looks like next.